Hello everyone, it's Curtis and Christine Siemens. Hey everyone, we just wanted to take a quick minute and have a little chat. Uh, honestly, we uh, miss seeing everyone more than anything. How about that? We've received quite a few questions um, in regards to real estate and what is happening. So we thought we would just take a couple of minutes and share with you the um, what is happening in real estate in the face of COVID and what is happening in the marketplace. So believe it or not, real estate is still happening. Uh, you'd think it would shut down, but uh, no, it's not. However, it's not business as usual. There are a number of different things um, different things that we that have been put in place in order to keep everybody safe. So, for instance, there's a couple of little sheets we have here in More regards. More documents to sign. <laughs> so, um, one of the things that is very important to realize in the face of uh, COVID and real estate is that only sincere, seriously interested buyers are being shown properties right now. Um, one of the things also that is being pointed out is that if that anyone has traveled outside of Canada in the last 21 days, it's not to be shown a property. So it's a good rule of thumb right now, if you're looking to buy a property, it should really only be because you absolutely need to buy a place. Uh, this isn't a, a time to be out window shopping. So with that idea of uh, being out in the past 21 days, that also means that if you've come in close contact uh, with anyone who has been outside the country in the last 21 days, or, or someone who may have um, even a presumptive case of, of COVID-19. So... In other words, not been outside of the country in the last 21 days, not been in contact or anyone who has been in contact with someone who has COVID, not showing any signs of illness, no children are to be at showings. And when you are at a showing, it is to be touching very few things, in fact, nothing at all, um, leaving everything in the property as is, not using the washrooms, and following the listing uh, sanitization procedures that is requested. In fact, a really good rule of thumb, friends, is if you have to buy a property and you want uh, Christine and I to take you out, um, one of the best things that maybe we could do is go through with the camera first uh, in your behalf. We're happy to go through and show you all the different things of the property, especially things um, that we would like to point out. Uh, about the property, things that we would do typically in person, but if we could do it on camera, uh, at least first do a virtual showing, that might be helpful and might be the safest thing for everybody. And again, as Curtis mentioned, there is documents to sign in regards to COVID. More documents. So, what is happening in the marketplace? Is it still a seller's market? I would honestly have to say yes it is. It is still a strong seller's market, believe it or not. In fact, at this moment, right now, between London and St. Thomas, there are 843 active listings, but the properties that have sold in the past seven days have still sold at either asking or above asking price. That would uh, definitely give us the indication that it is still a strong seller's market. Bank rates have dropped. What does that mean? Oh, bank rates dropping. So that means a couple of different things. That means that potentially you get uh, a better deal on a mortgage rate that uh, you would qualify for. However, the one thing we've come to realize, uh, maybe the hard way, is that along with bank rates dropping, uh, qualifications and uh, yeah, definitely qualifying is a little bit more difficult. So facing job losses. Mm-hmm new uh, policies, procedures, qualifications yeah. at CMHC, at the banks. It's going to make for a very volatile market in the next few weeks. So we really encourage those, if you can wait, wait. If you don't need to be out looking for real estate right now, it's really the safest thing uh, to just not. Because again, the policies and procedures are changing on almost a daily basis. Uh, with that being the case, it leads to a lot of frustration. Believe me, we're living it. We really, really want everyone to be healthy, to be safe, and to, to do the best that they can so that way we can get this over with. Yeah. Yeah, and quite honestly, if we just take a, a few weeks, friends, 
Uh, hopefully we'll get through the worst part of this and then hopefully at some point it will be back to business as usual. We hope. We look forward to hearing from you. Please, please drop us a line. We would love to hear from you.